Hey everyone, this is Will, and today we are going to be playing Scenario 3 for Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. I am with the Lion Guard, the Jaws of the Lion, my crew, my compatriots, Ryan and Eric. What's happening, everybody? Hey guys. All right, so as uh, we have gone through the first two scenarios, we have fought our way through a Vermling encampment, and we have discovered a parched note saying that we are after Roland. He is behind everything. He is trying to get some corpses. Uh, not good. Uh, he's been paying the uh, the Vermlings to bring it to him, and man, we've got some uh, some looters that we had in our party, and that was Eric from the last game. You had like 80,000 gold or something. 51. Some oh of us are gosh. better at this game than others, so I'd just like to point that out. Yeah, apparently. You, so. with that sweet money, I have now purchased a throwing hammer and a stamina potion. All right, and I got an iron spear, which is going to let me attack from range two, which is going to be nice. I picked up some boots and a stamina potion. All right, so we are at the black ship for scenario three here. So after getting your fill of stew and plenty of rest at the sleeping lion, you start off early in whoa, the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what kind of stew? I don't know. This Chicken is important. Beef. So vermling stew. Vermingling. Yeah. The, fir <laughs> the first order of business is looking for information on someone named Roland. He seems to be making a trade out of buying fresh corpses, and you'd like to know why. It's slow going at first, but you eventually find a pair of vermlings down in the sinking market who seem overly interested in cadaver disposal. After some rough persuasion, they cough up that they are too, that they too are being paid by a man named Roland to deliver bodies. They even give you the drop-off location, some derelict ship at the old docks. You head down to the pier and look around. It doesn't take long to spot the suspicious vessel. Not only is it leaking some vile black liquid from the hull, but there are two men wearing red robes standing guard outside of the dock. They notice you eyeing them and begin making threatening gestures for you to move along. Looks like getting to the bottom of this is going to require cracking a few more skulls. So some special rules, make sure characters add the first two ability cards marked one to their deck. So their starting hand now consists of eight. We are, looks like we are also going to be possibly fighting some vipers, some zealots. We got some more damage traps out as well. Did we get those so, on the board? So real quick here, I'm trying to imagine what kind of threatening gestures they're making. Are they giving us the old like ne neck slit thing, like from a distance, like oh you you are gonna get ah! like are they doing that? You think? I guess. Or you think they're like stomping their weapons, like you know? Maybe a little bit of both. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really I think know. Think it's the neck slit thing. The next the, one? They're, or they're like the old kids in the hall, like they're trying to squish our heads. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> All right, so you got some new uh, terrain features here. Obviously, we got our uh, two doors that uh, basically block uh, what is going on inside here, uh, as far as like what what enemies are inside. But also, we've got some, some uh, difficult terrain, which is these purple hexes here. Um, so to move into the area is going to require, it's going to keep knocking that over, it's going to require two movement points. So keep that in mind, everyone. Obviously, we got a trap here as well, so be cautious. And uh, I think we're ready to go. We've also got a supplemental scenario, uh, some information on page two of the scenario book. And, uh, yeah, I think we are good to go. Once we open this door, we're going to be able to read this section. Once we open this door, we're going to be able to read this section of the story and the conclusion we go to the scenario book. So um, other than that, not too much introduced in this one that we really need to go over. You got some active bonus persistent effects. You got shield. We got jump. Um, long rest we could take now. Multi-targeted focus. And the monster active bonuses. So Sounds good. Each character should now note their experience total. So we're going to have experiences... Yeah, I was looking though, like the the cards that I added to my deck did not include Oh well, yeah it did, this one did. Maybe. It's the star symbol, right? Star? Yeah. For experience? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yep. I don't have anything that gives me I have one one card that's gonna give me experience. So all right, so we have some zealots on the dock, and we need to dispatch them quickly. Hmm. 
It's like these zealots. One is an elite, one is a standard. Six health and eight health, respectively. I'm ready. Um, when the elite hits this, he's going to cause a wound. Which wound is a new condition. Suffer one damage at the start of each turn. Remove when healed. So wounding is not going to be good. Remember, if you heal and you have a status effect like that, you do not actually heal. You just remove the status effect. Hmm. In my mind, I was thought my somehow my truck started. In. Man, this is a tough call, guys. I do apologize. What kind of cars you never run? Oh, a big old truck, I think. One of those guys. Mm hmm. Steel Battalion. Steel Battalion. That's that Xbox game that you have the huge controller. That's what I thought. Okay, I had that for a while. I bought it on eBay for like $190, something like that. Then played it for a few weeks, then sold it on eBay for $190. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty pricey. It was fun, though. It was neat to have it. Does it, does it hold up? I haven't played it in a long time, actually. My Xbox, my regular Xbox is down there, but I haven't booted that thing up in years. All right, we're ready to go. Yep, I'm, I'm ready, ready to go. Yep, I apologize, guys. Target All right. here, 51. 14. 15. All right. So we've got the basic zealot is going to be 46. So we're going to have the red guard, the void walker. What number did you get? 51. 51 was your first, huh? Yeah, one with my high, because I wanted them to move first. All right, and then the Zealot, and then Hatchet going last. All right, so first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to do a Flame Sickle, which is going to be Attack 3, Range 2 on this guy right here. So make sure my cards have a very good shuffle. All right, so attack three plus zero, so that is going to be a three on number three. And then they get pulled one. And then I can move three, which uh, I'm actually good sitting where I am, I think. Okay. Void Walker. Yes. I don't see the right symbol. Yeah, I don't see the right symbol. Is this on this little cardboard thing, probably? Is it your symbol? No, I was, it's uh, the, the purple lightning bolt, the confusion. Hmm. Curse? Curse, that's what I mean. Hmm. Is it on the opposite side of any of those? Not that I see. Interesting. All right, let me see if I can find it where you're going to do your okay, turn. Okay, so uh, at the start of your next five turns, perform a curse range two action. So... I assume I don't do anything this turn. I start that at the beginning of my next turn. Ah, shuffle a curse card. So curse is a, a status effect. You put that into their deck. Yep. So, boom. Attack that guy's curse. So this gets shuffled. Shuffle the curse. Start of your card next into the five attack turns. Modifier. Perform a curse range two. He's within range two. That's why I can. It's at the beginning that. of his next turn, though, technically, right? It's fine. Just if you draw it, just take it out. 
Okay, and then one ally within range three may perform an attack to range three. So I'll have Hatchet do it, since you would have a disadvantage to do it. Unless I attack the elite. Well... Yeah, that's true. Attacking the elite wouldn't be a bad idea. That's true. Let's put damage on the elite. All right, so what's the attack damage? Uh, two. Two? Minus one. No shield, so he's going to take one. And that is number five. This card gets... All right, so then the uh, the boil blood is what the Zell is going to do. He's going to attack one, uh, range two, and he's going to cause muddle. So he's going to attack me because I am adjacent to him. So he's going to draw two. Not the range two, he would he would attack uh, Ryan because Ryan had higher initiative than me. If it's a range attack, he's not going to attack you. He's going to attack the adjacent model. He's going to attack the model he's engaged with. Uh, even if it's a range attack? Well, let's look it up. I thought it was only I'm going to use one of these target. hit die. Never mind. It's not going to be my turn yet. To keep track of that. So, this symbol means it's ongoing. What does that symbol mean? Same thing. Why is it different then? Well, it looks the same. Oh, this this keeps going until you end it. This one goes until uh, it, it hits the end of that. Oh, okay. It's weird that one is an infinity symbol. Maybe it's just an S for sustained. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Alright, so primary. Adventure Begins, the Dungeon Dragon box. Which one? The, the, the new one you have up there, the Adventure Begins box. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely horrible. Most of those are. There's your zombie side. Yeah, I think you're right. It'll try to find somebody that it can not sh that it can shoot without disadvantage. Yeah, I know. Like I told you. Anyway, jackass. All right, so it's gonna shoot Ryan for plus one. Sorry, Ryan. That's okay. So it's gonna shoot for two plus one plus one, so four. Woo! Four damage, Ryan, and it's gonna muddle you. Leech turn conditions. All right, is it moving to lead turn? Nope, no move, just attack. So it's going to range two, so it can't hit anything. Okay, my turn. I am moving two, which sucks because I was hoping you move up. And all adjacent enemies suffer one damage, so this guy takes the damage. And now I'm going to use the favorite. Place one of your character tokens on this card. You may add plus three attack to any of your ranged attacks by moving the token from this card to the target after the attack ability is resolved. 
When the target dies, place this token on the hex in which it died. If you loot that hex, return the token to this card. This is an ongoing card. Hmm. Two experience burn. Alright. Okay. That's it for me. Alright, so that was uh, everybody. So now we go back to card pick. Locked and loaded, gentlemen. Locked and loaded. Hmm. Without sharing too much of my plan. Can you push a monster through a closed door? No, because it's... It, no. You can't push them. In, it's like an obstacle. What if, what if... Hypothetically. What if you're hypothetically not pushing, but just controlling their movement? Then yes. I believe so. I believe if you're controlling their movement, you can make them open the doors, right? I, can I think the only way to open the door is if you move into the hex. I don't think so. But I don't know. So, I mean, I never really thought about that before. Where's the insertion? The insertion book? Yeah. There's the glossary. Alright, so I'm going to lead with that, and then I'm going to do that. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, I got 16. 43. Eric? I am doing a 35. Alright. So it's red guard, 35, 43, draw? nope. 61. 61. 19. No, 19. <laughs> so it is going actually First. right after me. Yeah. So I had it right. Red Guard, Zealot, Void Warden. No, no, no I'm, last. I'm last. All right, there we go. Because the monster prioritizes losing disadvantage on its primary focus, it will move into a position to do so and also attack as many other targets as it can. There you go. Yeah. Whoops, I'm picking up the wrong, wrong thing of cards. All right, so first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my swift strength, which is going to allow me to move to jump. So I'm going to go one, two, jumping over the zealot, landing into the other one, giving me a constant shield one. Then I'm going to do the top of this ability, which is attack two, target all adjacent Enemy. So I'm going to attack the one I jumped over first with a, oh my gosh, times two. And that will definitely deal four damage, killing it. And then we are going to do the uh, other two attack to the other one, which is a minus two. No! And does no damage to that one. I thought it was one. All right. So I killed the one guy. We just got the elite. If I'd have just handed that times two to the other guy first. I need to put a coin right here. Oh, yep. Thanks. All right. Yep, and then we've got the Zealot going to activate. It's going to not move at all, but it is going to attack with a minus one, causing a curse, which is going to hit me, right? Oh, it's going to miss. It is going to curse me, so I'm going to take a curse card, place that in my deck, and immediately shuffle. Which you need to anyway because of the... Yeah, because of the multiplier. Alrighty. These are, I'll shuffle these ones too. 
I think it gets shuffled at the end of the turn. All right. And then the... But it's not going to attack again, right? So I guess we're right. You can go ahead and shuffle it. And then... Hatchet. Me. Okay. I am... I kind of moved in my spot. That's fine, though. You can move through me. No, that's fine. Okay. Let me take care of this elite. I'm going to go ahead and activate this to add one plus attack to all your attacks this turn. And then I'm going to do my attack three, range three on him, so it's a four attack. Also putting my token on him, making him my favorite. And this adds plus three. So this is going to be a seven attack. Minus one. Six, six damage. damage, which takes him from eight. We had one on him, right? Yes, yeah, so there's a seven. All right. Oh, it's, it's ten. Five is a five. And that's it for me. That's a three. We can say it's five. Yeah, okay. Surprised they do have in threes and not. Okay. That was you. My go? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to uh, play this card, which is move four. So one, two, three, I'm going to stand on that coin. Actually, I'm going to move this down here and put it underneath for the shield. And then, over range three, I can cast Disarm. All right. Which I will disarm that guy. Okay. Um, force the target to perform move two with you controlling the action. So you cannot move through the door. I apologize. I was wrong. Oh. Monsters cannot open doors. Even if you're controlling it, apparently. Hmm. Does that change what I want to do? Because I could just... Uh, let's see. It says one enemy, so I can't disarm well and make him open the door. <laughs> okay, well, he's still disarmed. That's still pretty good. He can't attack. I, don't, I assume I don't want him to move away from where we are because it was just a movement to get back to him. I'm fine with him where he's at because I'm one away. He did hit me, right? I mean, he did attack me, the elite, so I am actually going to take a wound. So i got to make sure I take my wound condition. And he, and now please add one curse card to their... To the monster deck? To the monster deck. All right. So curse card... To the monster deck. All right. That is my turn. All right. So now we're going to pick our next cards. You don't have much range on the, uh... We'll just do this, see what happens. All right. 49, 87, 24. 77 for the monsters. So if I'm not mistaken, it is Hatchet, Void Warden, Zealot, Red Guard. I'm attacking three on this guy. 
Plus zero, three damage. All right, that kills him. I have a move one, a loot one, which also loots my token and the gold coin that he was on. So that goes back there. Did we loot the one that yeah, I, I you did. did? Okay. And that is it for me. And you looted that just now? Yep. Because that's what you do. All right, so then the uh, the Void Warden is going to go. effective? Yes, that is what I do. Um, so can I move three and open the door? I can't really see the doors in the way. You can go one, two, open the door. Sure. And then we've got another Zealot. We've got a... So we need a white Zealot here. We need two white of the... Giant Vipers. That's all the enemies in here. So the goal of this objective is kill all the enemies. Obviously, we've got our time frame of our actions. That one's black. Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's one more Viper. There he is. Okay. So my last movement will be to here. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, he's muddled. Yeah, he is muddled. So that is number three. Okay. okay. And then I will do a uh, range three, attack three on him. So four damage to that guy. Nice. Four. Right? Yep. Perfect. Alright. So I'm going to... I'm going to use the healing sands here. Whoop, that was on my hand that I just put down there? It was. Keep my cards organized. Alright, so I'm going to use the healing sands and the shield spikes. So with this, I'm going to... Now, our point of order, I guess. I just flipped that over. So did the, the, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right their, you're initiative right. Was bef their initiative was earlier in the round. Right, so what number were you? I was... 48. Because you went and opened the door, so the giant worms are actually going to go before me. So the giant worms are going to move plus one with a jump. So their move is two, so they got three movement. So they gonna go one, two. One, two, they can't end the spot. One, two. That has to be one, right? One, two, three? Yeah, but they can't end in the... You can't end? Turn. Oh, I thought you just, I thought I just took two to go through. Oh, two enter, you're right, you're right, right. You are okay. right, so it's gonna go there. So then it's gonna attack minus one, nothing, okay? This one would be... And it's already in it, so we're already entered. One, two. Yeah. Well, because we're already in it, it says terrain requires two movement points to enter. Oh. Terrain. Is it already considered entered? Yeah, because it's inside of it. Okay. So one, two, three. Sure. Because it wouldn't go on the trap. All right. Sounds good. Okay. And they don't have a ranged attack. Okay. Then it would actually be the zealots, because the zealots were faster than me, weren't they? No, they're 77. I didn't adjust this then properly. Okay. All right, so this could actually change some stuff. What's their health? Just three? Yep. So we're gonna go, oh, I need suffer damage. And uh, I was hoping you'd get poisoned. And die. Huh. We're gonna we're gonna move to, and then we're gonna heal myself for four, which doesn't actually heal me, but does get rid of the condition, and it does give me an experience. If anybody gets poisoned, let me know, cause I'm excited for that. Okay. Okay, last two cards for me. Yep. And then the, well, the uh, the zealot needs. Oh yeah. yeah. So the zealot is going to move minus, minus one. one. Movement is two, so it cannot move into there. 
Can't go anywhere. And then attack minus one, and then this guy can just move one space here. All right. Ready? Ready. 87. 18. 68. Almost. <laughs> 27 for the... It's like we're in high school, or middle school again. Yeah. And... 58. 58. So the lowest is... 18. Okay, so you. Who's uh, next? Uh, 27. Uh, Hold on a second. 27. And then what? I have 87, so I'm last. I'm 68. So it's going to be so the snake. Viper. Then me. And then me last. And then you. Okay, Hatchet McHatcherson. Get in there and get stuff done. It's it's not Hatchet me. It's, it's Thorson. Oh, I'm sorry. ICP boy. I'm a Hatchet. So I can't move in here? You can. Twice has two movement points to move into it. If I move, I was right here, right, right here. Mm -hmm. Four, I can't. Okay. Can I attack through it? You can attack there, yeah. Okay. Wouldn't it be three, four, five? I think I was right here. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Oh, I see. You're right. Thank you. Was your move a jump? No. Okay. And then I'm going to do an attack three on that guy. Or your move was four. What card are you using? This is the one I moved with, five. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. And attack three times two. Takes him out. That dude. He only has six. Two. So place one of your three characters health. on this card. You may add plus three attack to any of your range attacks by moving the token from this card to the target after the attack ability is resolved. It says I may, so it doesn't mean I have to, right? Right. It's okay. I'm not going to do it off since I killed him. I'm shuffling my cards. I'm done. Okay. Then the zealot's gonna go. Where are we keeping experience? On your dial. Okay. This symbol right here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Like, you gain two experience every time you use it? No. Oh, okay. Just I just never counted it the first time. Okay. So it's gonna heal one. So the zealot is the zealot that you muddled. Mm -hmm. He's gonna heal for one. He's gonna move plus one, so he's gonna be able to move into here. His movement is three, so with the plus one. He's going to attack at range two, one, two. So he's going to attack with a minus one modifier. So his two minus one is one, minus one is zero. Ugh. Swing and a miss. Okay, and then this one is going to move one, two, three. He is not damaged, so he's going to, actually he's not even going to move because he's just going to range attack. So. His attack is one plus two, so Eric, you're gonna take three damage. All right, I'm gonna take it. I'm at five. All right, so then it is the giant viper. The giant viper is a move minus one, attack plus one, and immobile. And immobilize. So his movement is two. He's going to be able to move the one. So attack plus one. So his attack is one anyway with poison. No, I'm not the last. I'm sorry? Not with poison. Poison? Oh. Sorry. It's your chance. Plus one, minus one. So it's just the base of one. So you're going to take one and become immobilized. And poisoned, right? And poisoned. What does poison mean? Poison is all attackers gain plus one attack. Oh, it's not even a status. Plus one attack prevents healing, remove when healed. Oh, no, it is a status. Yeah, it is. You were so excited for somebody to get poisoned. It's not yourself, huh? No, I can do it. It just ruins what I was going to do otherwise. So you still take one? You take yeah, it. I took it. You took it? Okay. Cool, cool. And then, so that... I had two. That was the giant viper. You literally have two health? I had two. Oh. Gotcha. And then I lost one. So now I'm at one hit point. Who's go? Cusco? Cusco? Mm-hmm. Uh, it is your turn. 
Okay, so start of my turn, he has put another curse card in that deck. I think we missed last turn, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, is anybody else poisoned or hurt? Nay, I'm hurt, but I'm not poisoned. I think, okay, so I was just talking out loud. I can go one of two ways. I can strengthen one of you guys and I can heal myself, which would take off the poison effect. All allies who remove, all allies who remove poison with this heal will gain bless in addition to. I think when you heal, it removes all your status effects. So I could, I could do that and I could shuffle bless into my attack modifier card, which would be kind of cool. But the alternative to that is I would I could do loot one, which doesn't help me right now. And then I can cast strengthen on one of you fools. Heal yourself. The other thing I could do instead is I could have one of you guys. Well, well wait. Is this guy not next to you anymore? This that guy was never next to you. Never next to me. He, oh. he fired a range attack at him. So never mind, because then that won't matter. So I could do an attack forward, and then I could push everybody back one, which would push them back into the terrain, which would slow them down. But, all right, so I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to strengthen you. I think I'm going to back up out of the room. Neither of you guys are hurt. I'm hurt, but I'm oh, fine. I'm fine. I'm well, fine. I know, but it's target two, I'm so three I, can, I have to target somebody. Oh yeah, I'm I have I have one one hit point lost. I'm okay. down three. Okay, so I'm gonna heal myself and heal you. How much? Uh, heal for two. So I put no, I don't take any healing points, but I take these off. All right, and you're immobilized. And now I need a bless card. I don't think healing gets rid of your mobilize. It's a status effect. Okay. I'll shuffle that in in a second. And then... Instead of... I, I hate to, to, to burn a strengthen. Like, which one of you can attack multiple enemies at one time? I can. I can, but with I me, mean, I have to have the right card, but yeah, I can. I have one card. I think it's still in my deck. I can target three. Target, target three? It would be better than I could do. Okay. You can be strengthened next for your next attack. I would loot one, but I'm not close to loot anything. And that is my turn. So now I will shuffle my deck again now that blesses him. Okay, I'm going to move. Oh, I didn't know you still could go. Yeah. Would the strength have been better on you this time? I'm going to move here with four movement. Oh, it's up to you, man. Yeah, you've already done it. It's fine. So okay. I'm going to attack two, target one enemy within two hexes. It's not a range attack, it's just Desert Knight. Uh, and so it's an attack of two. And disarmed. So that would be three damage on the five. No, thanks. I forgot about those three tokens. All right, that was three damage on the five. And he is and disarmed. He's disarmed. Have they already gone? Yeah, I was the last one. Okay. So, so I'm going to take a long rest. So his model is up, right? He has an activating. When he got his medal, did he? Who medaled him? I did when I walked into the room. That was last turn. I don't think we... He didn't... He wasn't able to attack. He did attack. Is that the one... Oh, he hit me. He should have been muddled. That's fine. Alright, I'm losing this card here. Oh, yeah. Losing my loot card. 
So the refresh icon means that it's a persistent ability below it. It is active until the end of the round. The one that's the infinite is permanent. Which seems weird. I don't know what you're talking about. Your one's curse card. Didn't it have the... So this means it's until the end of the round. It's infinite, okay. Oh, okay. So this shield actually would have gone in my deck and would have shuffled that, so let me... Because that's just till the end of the round. So I didn't lose that actually yet. So now I gotta lose one. And... Okay, so that's lost. Okay. Oh, crap. So, you burst into the cargo hold and foul smell hits you in the face. A river of sticky black liquid flows to the ship, pouring between the various cracks in the hull. The source appears to be beyond the far door, but first you'll have to fight your way far past far more ruffians and their pets. I totally forgot to read that. I got my cards. Coming. Got mine. I am a fifty one. Sixteen. Sixty eight. All right, so I am first for us, and then what was yours, Eric? Fifty one. Fifty one, and then what were you? Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Okay. What are they? The Viper is 43. Okay, so that, hold on, that goes before Eric, right? Okay. Heal does not go to mobilize, by the way. That's, I didn't move anyway. Yeah. Just, just for clarity. It doesn't? No. What does it get rid of then? Heal can get rid of poison and it can get rid of wound. Mm. Oh, Please. the ones that last at the end of the turn, don't you can't get rid of with heal, huh? 46, so it actually goes before Eric as well. So the, so the Red Guard, Viper, Zealot, and then me. Jeez, this is not good. All right, so first and foremost, I am going to use this card here called Shield Spikes. Heal two, range two, so we're going to heal the Void Warden for two. <gasps> then we are going to use Swift Strength, which is attack two, range two, pull... Target two, pull one. So we're going to attack the uh, Viper first. So Viper is going to suffer two damage. Got it. What number is he? Uh, the Viper seven. I don't have it on the rest. Uh, right card then, but there's no seven on it. That's all right. We'll just do six right now. Okay. And then uh, the, the guy with how much health left? Three health left? Yeah, both zealots have three. Is only going to take two. But the Viper is going to get... Oh, I didn't do this. The Viper is going to get pulled one. Right on the trap. He's going to take three and die. Yeah, he's dead. So the trap goes away and a gold drops for Eric to loot, I'm sure. Because he's um, effective. Which one of these guys did you actually hit? Uh, the five. Okay, so the one's disarmed. I have for two. So he's at five. Okay. All right. Did what I could. And then now the giant viper, which we don't have one in the board anymore, so he is actually gone. And then the zealot. So the zealot is going to attack plus one, range two, and muddle. So he is going to... He's not going to move, so he's going to target you for two. Or for three, plus the card. Ready? Yep. For two. So what I just healed you for. Alright. 
Me? Nope. No, that's the other one. So he's going to target, because he can't move, he's going to target you. I mean, you're also muddled. And then he's going to target you for three plus card flip for four. Okay. Down to three. And you're muddled as well. It's mm, not good. All right. So Zealot has gone. Now it is the hatchet. Me? Well, this one does. Now, there's only two targets, so I'm going to switch it. I was going to do all three, but this does more damage. And so, you're right, I am going to move two onto this gold. Why not? With that. And I'm going to attack two, range three to two targets. So I'm attacking both of these for two. I'm going to. Which one's got the most health? Um, the one three, three. The one in front of Ryan. This one? Yep. I'm going to put that on him, which adds plus three to that attack. So I'm attacking him for five. Okay. Minus one. Four damage. Four kills him. He's dead. Next guy is getting attacked for two plus negative two. So no. That's lame. It's also all she wrote. You should go pick up his hatchet. You can't. Only I can pick this up. My go? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm going to heal myself for two. And that will remove my muddle, right? Yeah, it's supposed to, No, it doesn't actually heal you, remember? It just gets rid of a status effect. It does not get rid of muddle. It gets rid of poison and wound. So do I take the hit points or not? So mu Oh, because muddle lasts until the end of the round. Yes. So, so I do get my hit points. You, you do get your hit points, but you don't lose muddle. Uh, and then one ally within two, well, can do a plus four attack. Plus four attack? Right, melee? Yep. All right. So three damage. Kill that guy. Nice. And he drops. Oh, uh, wait, before I killed him, uh -huh. at the start of my turn, I cursed him. Okay. And that gives me one experience. Yay. Good job. All right. Ready? 18. 14. 43. All right. So we're actually take the zealot out of here. So me, then Eric, then Ryan. So I'm going to go with a move of four as my first action. One, two, it doesn't matter. Two, three. I'm going to stand right here. It's being greedy now. Me. All the way, baby. My turn. Right. You done? Yeah. Okay, moving three. So one, two, three. Getting the coin and my token. And then I'm going to heal for three. Myself. So I'm a seven now. Done. Uh, I'm going to heal for three. I'm going to move three. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got two cards. Not the hard decision. Alright. Twenty-four. Sixty-seven. Sixty-three. So does it cost me two to move here now? Nope. No. We as long as you stay in the mud, it only costs you one. All right, we house ruled that if, even if it's wrong. We're, that's how we're doing it. Okay. Uh, one. Now three. Mm -hmm. No, so two. Three. 
I don't think I really want to burn a card yet to move the extra one. Of course, I could loot that gold then. I mean, you got you create a situation where you have to walk through a trap anyway. Burn the card, but it's fine. How many rounds have we played? I don't know. I think I've at lost least the, four. I've lost the card for uh, resting. Have you lost That's the card right. for resting? I lost yeah. One card. It was that card. Okay, there we go. I'm good. Sorry. I think it has a spot for him. Oh, I forgot to use this. Did I keep this, or is that going? Uh, it was on your next attack. You would have. You would have used it. You would have yeah. used it. But you times two, so you didn't need it. All right, so that's me. So I'm gonna go with my bottom of move six. One, two, three, four. Open this door, and it says the smell gets even worse when you finally open the door. Sorry. To the back cabin. More of these robed madmen are performing some sort of incantation over an altar piled high with several severed limbs and unidentified mounds of flesh. With the flies buzzing and the strange guttled howls, all you want to do is get as far away as possible, but you have the job to do, so you commence with the killing. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to step in the mud. Uh, I don't necessarily want to. We have to draw these anyway. Yeah. So they're going to go at 19, which is already passed. Well, it's going to go after me. Or, uh, af yeah, after me. This one needs to get shuffled. So my next thing is a range 3, or attack 3, range 2. So I need to move in to do the attack. So we're gonna do it. I'm moving 18. in. Is there an elite? There's an elite. Yep. Viper, huh? We're gonna attack the elite viper for an attack three. There's no traps, is there? Crud. No traps to pull him into. Alright, we're attacking the viper. So here we go. Three, two. Two damage on the five. I'll eat. Seven, but we don't have seven, six. Okay. And that's me. Who's next? Uh, the 19, would, or the 18. He would move plus one. And he would attack minus one. So his attack is two. Oh, wow. Curse, cursed. Yay, curse. No cursed. <clears throat> what does that do? Nothing. It just acts as a time zero. As a miss? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Does it go go out of the deck after it's drawn? I, I don't need to have to check At the end of the round. Oh, I don't think it does. Mm, I'll have to look that up. But maybe. It, it'd be like my bless. I think the bless stays there until the end of the game. All right, so the move of the Zealots is two plus zero, so one, and he's going to attack with a minus one. So his attack is going to be a one. Critical miss again, but he is going to curse me. I've been cursed. So make sure they get shuffled. He's going to move one. Can't move in and attack me because of the stuff there. Okay. Can't believe I had two misses like that. Short rest here. Wait, it's Ryan's turn now. Oh, I thought you won. Sorry. We're fine. Um, I really can't do anything, but move two is all I can do. One, I know. two. Or one and get the gold. One, two. The bad part is I'm not within two, so I can't curse again. Okay. 
All right, I've got one card, so I need to take a short rest. I could take a long rest, but it would give me a 99, and that would not be good right now. All right, so we need to find out, do these blessings get discarded, removed, or do they stay in? Once it is drawn, it is then removed. There you go. All right, so this card is removed. This causes a shuffle. Ready. Yeah, I've got a short rest and this card a card real quick. Ready? 38. 43. 18. All right, so it's going to be... Oh, did we draw the ones of this? <coughs> 43, 27. So the 27, nobody's faster than 27, right? Eric is. 18. So it's going to be the hatchet, and then it's going to be the zealot. And then it's going to be the... You. 38. 38 me. Hang on a second, Eric. Then we're tied. Who are? The constrictor and I. Okay, so you're gonna go first, and then the giant viper. Okay. Okay. What's your move? Five. Is that gonna get in your way, Ryan? Or should I move one in? No, you're fine. There's that's purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, no more. And I'm going to do an attack three, range three on... Which one do you want? Which one do you think I should target, Will? We haven't hit either of the Zealots, so... The Zealot or the Worm, the Elite? No, I don't take the Worm. Okay. I'll hit the Zealot right in front of me, and uh, I'm going to use the favor. So, plus three damage to him. So, six damage coming at him. Minus one, five damage. Five damage. Ooh, he's one away. What number is that, Ryan? Uh, three. That's all she wrote for me. Okay. Zealot's turn. So Zealot's gonna heal one, move one. So that's three, that's five. So this one's gonna go first, and it is gonna range two attack, so it's gonna attack Eric. Attack minus one, so it's gonna go one plus one for two, Eric. And then it's already at advantage on Hatchet because he was early in the round. Shoot. And missed. I was going to use my throwing hammer. Is the guy that attacked me just has he went yet? Yeah. We've already done both the attacks. You're going to take two and then the other one missed you. Oh, yeah, it's two damage. Yeah. I'm going to use my damn throwing hammer. All right. So then me, I'm going to do this one, which is uh, two adjacent enemies suffer two damage. So there's five. Or four, five, six. This one dies. The three dies, and the viper dies. Right? No, he's only at four. Oh, okay. He's not dead. My bad. Okay, so that's good there. And then I'm going to use my attack two to attack the viper two, plus zero. And then he dies. Thank you. I go? Yes, sir. So. One, two. I'm going to use my boots. Three, four, five. Mm. Cool. Beautiful. Mm. No, I'm not. He's already gone this turn, right? Yes. Has he taken four damage? Yeah. Okay. But he's five. Okay. Oh, no, no. He hasn't taken it. You're right. The one that we just killed was the one that had it. He hasn't taken okay. damage yet. All right. So there's that. I am going to do that. Okay. So that's my 
move four. So now I'm using disarm on him, range three. Okay, I was not within two at the start of my turn, so he does not get cursed. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay, start of your turn. Perform curse, range two. He's not within two. Now it will be next time, if he survives. I'm going to cast disarm on him. Awesome. Uh, he's number five. Mm -hmm. And uh, force the target to perform move two. One, two. You should move him over towards me. Two. Like in front of me. I don't know if I can. Two. I can do that, right? He was here. One, I can't get in there. You can't get him right here? Oh, yeah, he can go there. Okay. That'd be a beaut. But he's still beside me. That's why I was a little worried. Ah, you'll be fine. And that's my turn. All right, so this gets shuffled. The worm is dead, so we don't really need to mess with that anymore. This gets I'm going to use my stamina potion to put one more card back in there. Cool. Ready? Yep. 24. 14. 77, 23. You. Mm. Then me. Then Eric. And then it. And then it. All right, so I'm going to loop one. <laughs> you focus on killing the enemy first, Will. Well, I am going to because then I'm going to do a looted and then I'm attack three with a mobilize. So an attack three, critical miss. Yep. Got my gold. Gold matters. So I just looted two. Remember I looted the one that was over here? No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it went. I must have moved it into the pile I picked up. I looted like three more over here that's not there. Weird. Oh, I've got the gold. I was trying to country track up plus the enemies with help with Ryan. I'm glad you're, you know, occupied. This is my go. My go. Picking up gold. Um, <laughs> Picking up the gold as I'm laying it down. A lot of signs going on. Well, yeah. Well, first off, he's in the range too, so he has a curse. Okay. I'm only doing this because if he happens to survive one more round, I get another experience. Okay. That being said, <laughs> do I want to kill him? <laughs> I mean, how meta are we playing this game? Let's be honest. Let's just kill him and get out so we can move on. But it'd give me one more experience if I don't. All right, then do what you need to do, man. Uh, don't kill him. Don't do it. Plus six. Plus six. Plus zero. He's took six damage. He only has six health. He's dead. Can you move? No, I can't. <laughs> Eric can. I'm just going to pick one of the gold up, man. There's nothing else to loot, right? Right. I mean, there's another gold over there, but unless you have a loot card. I mean, you could have, like, nope. casually pushed me aside instead of just knocking me to the ground. <laughs> All right, so that was the end of that one. Now we're going to do the conclusion for Scenario 3. It certainly doesn't give you pleasure sifting through the human remains of the altar, but it does It does end up providing useful, proving useful in between the bouts of vomiting. You find a necklace, one Sandy described in detail as never leaving the neck of her husband. With his, this in hand, you can bring at least some piece to the black, blacksmith's widow and inform the city guard about this whole situation. Still, you have a sneaking suspicion this isn't the end of the trail. These road men were certainly all underlings, which means Roland is still out there. One could make the argument that this is the city guard's job, but you search the cabin on the ship anyway and find a curious map. In its crude depiction of the boiler district and one building is clearly marked. Surely it couldn't hurt to check it out, right? Each character gains one perk. See the next section for Learn to Play Guide for details. 
So I, just, I assume this bless comes out of my card deck, even though yeah. I hadn't drawn it. I think so, but I'm not sure. So the perk that I'm going to gain is remove two minus one minus ones from my. I'm going to do the same. I feel like maybe replace one minus one with a plus zero heal one. I'm supposed to be a healer. I don't really attack anything, so like I don't really understand. Like I don't know that I really need to worry about. Yeah, I think it's a good call. All right, everyone. This has been the second scenario for Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. This has been Will. Technically, it's the third. This is right. Oh, Count oh let me do that out then. All right, everyone. This has been the third scenario for Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. We just sift through some dead corpses. Well, Eric did while he was looting all the gold again. So, uh, yeah. We got some perk points after that. How much gold did you get again? Ten. Only ten? I, did, I guess I did get the treasure. Let's see what treasure I got. And that is number... Treasure number ten. Ooh, a faithful compass. Oh, crazy. I didn't need the gold. Just got the compass. Right. I know, right? <laughs> All right. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be on the lookout for our next video. All right. Until next time, everyone, stay safe and take care.